Welcome back to Alabama Surfcast. We're gonna get out here today. We got four rods set up. There's been some pops being caught. The winter has been extremely slow, very frustrating, but there's some pompano out coming in because we are in April finally, and the water temperature is about 69 degrees. So hopefully we can get out here and get some good fish today. We're gonna talk about the spread for a minute. We got the 10 foot H2O with a 4,000 size tsunami barricade which is a cheap walmart reel supposedly sealed it's been doing good for now has had never had a problem with it that one's got a double drop uh bama saltwater rig on it with fish bites pink and easy fleece and down here we got the nine foot offshore angler power stick with a 5000 Daiwa Saltist, which is amazing. Rod casts a lot, a lot farther than I ever anticipated as well. It's gonna be my lower rod, but for now, it's running a brand new Salty's pink and black Pompano rig, double drop. And we're coming down to nine foot pen prevail two with a battle three, 5,000. And that one just has a naked rig on it. One single drop of the hook, no bead, no float. And then we're coming down to the final. 10 foot H2O with the Fierce 3 5000 with a double drop Salty's Pompano rig in green with pink fish bites and easy flea fish bites. All tip for shrimp. this thing back up with a piece of shrimp. Got a sand flea fish bite strip on there. I'm just gonna lob this one kind of short. Nothing fancy on it. Make sure you check your bait. Keep an eye on your baits every 10, 15 minutes. Make sure they got fish bites on them. Good one too. That's gonna be a decent pompano. Oh yeah, he's bad. <laughs> Keep an eye on that rod. Nice. That's a good fish. Nice. That's a nice one. Sweet. 
Let's pop a 2020. Oh, 20, 2022. Don't mention 2020. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. That's a good one. Very nice fish. Come on. Come on. Right in the end of... Oh. Come on. Squirmy. Come here. <sighs> Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go, boy. Oh, he wasn't coming off, wow. Here we go, guys. That's the goal right there. Whoop. Yes. Can you measure it? What do we got? All right. Boom. He is, whoa, hey, calm down there, bud. We got, he's over 13 to the fork, so. Yep, 13 and a half or so. Nice. All right. Chalk one up for sand flea fish bites and shrimp. I'm just going to do the same thing. He wasn't even far out. So. Put a big old piece on there. Let's get this guy back out. Short game. Yep, that's the ticket. Right there. Picked him up on the Pen Battle 35000 on a nine foot Pen Prevail 2. It's a good fish. Let's get another. The new Salties rigs. We got that's a crab fish bite. Move up to the pink shrimp fish bite. Down to the three ounce sinker guy Sputnik. I have these on three of the four rods. I need to get myself some four ounce ones. Those are threes. Get this one out a little ways. I do like to have a variety of distances on the, on the beach. That last one was pretty close to the beach. Doesn't mean they're all gonna be. A little bit of current out there, that's awesome. That three. Basically just put that on the other side of, there's some Right out here in front of me, you got shallow water. That's where all these waves are rumbling, rolling through and breaking a little bit. If we had good surf, this would all be breaking. And then it comes down and cuts into a hole over by this gentleman here. And then there's a good chunk of bar structure and a point heading out there. So we got two rods fishing in part of this bowl, this hole over here. And then we got these ones on this side of my spread working just on the other side of this skinny water area. So we got, you got their uh, lane of travel covered. You know, they're, if they're running the back side of that bar, I got baits sitting on the back side when they're coming into this hole. And then I got baits a couple different distances in this hole over here to have that covered. And that first pump, he came in pretty shallow. He was probably 30, 35 yards maybe off the beach. So he came in pretty close. 
It's been quiet since. We'll see if we can get some more. Bait check. Yeah, it's a good thing I checked it. We're shooting blanks over here. Good, good to check them every 10 to 15 minutes or so. But this rig here, this is a rig that I tied up myself. It's got a hook placed facing down. So that last pompano got hooked right in the bottom jaw, right in the, right in the meat of his face. So it's excellent. I'm definitely going to start doing that more often. But yeah, it's a single drop rig. Nothing fancy on it. No beads. We're going to get it rebated. Let's get ourselves a big chunk of shrimp. and We'll throw on a piece of sand flea fish bite. I believe this is a owner hook. Mew 2 light circle. We're, gonna, we're just gonna put this thing right where the color changes. Nothing crazy. That pump is not far out. Drag set good. So you don't lose your rod. Check the others. All right, everybody, we are back from the beach. Wasn't an awesome day out there, but any day you can bring home a pompano for some food is a pretty good day. We had a couple bites, didn't capitalize, but we got the one. So we're happy with it. Water temperatures are coming up, so we should have some more action fairly soon. But tonight, we're gonna work on making some pompano rangoons. All right, for this recipe, you just need some basic stuff. You're going to need a hand mixer. You're going to need your little barbecue brush, a bowl with some water. You're going to need a cup measure, a knife, rag, a bowl for mixing, rubber spatula will work. And for the ingredients, you're going to need 16 ounces of softened cream cheese. So we're going to need, start with those. You're going to need some green onions. You're going to need some wonton wrappers and some powdered sugar pretty basic i like sweet rangoons so we're gonna go with some powdered sugar in there and all right so basically i'm gonna start by getting out this cream cheese getting the bowl it's nice and softened mess of the kitchen. Alright, and I'm going to mi mince up the white ends of some green onions. You don't want the big dark green ends. You just go with the short ends. You only need like three, so you don't need all of them. And we're just gonna get this done up really fine. Get it chopped up really good. goes in the mixture itself to be pretty well chopped up. 
Add that right in there. We can add our cup of powder sugar. of a filet of pompano. You can add as much or reduce it as much as you want to. We're going to do the same thing we did with the onion. And get this minced up pretty thin, pretty fine. So it's throughout your mixture. food processor if you want to. ingredients together. And we'll do a little folding with the rubber spatula when we have to. these edges in the middle and down to the bottom of the bowl. stuff in there. This actually makes a lot of these so you don't have to go too crazy cleaning this off. <laughs> all right now we got everything whipped up in the bowl. It's all nice and consistently done. Now we have our bowl of water and your small brush. Get your wonton wrappers over here next to you. And all you're gonna do is grab one of your wrappers. Make sure it's one wrapper. They do like to kind of stick together a little. Then you grab yourself just your normal everyday small spoon. Spoon up a little bit of filling. Drop it down in the middle. Grab yourself your little 
barbecue basting brush or egg brush. I'm just use water to hit the edges. And then you're gonna take the corners, fold them up, give them a pinch. It's okay if some of the tr filling tries to come out, you can just put it back in your bowl. And that, you're gonna continue doing for, I don't know, my little fryer probably holds six or seven of them, but depending on what, how big your pan is, you know, kind of judge it, make up a bunch, hit them in the pan. So I'm gonna whip up a few of these, and then we're gonna hit the fryer, which is already preheated to 350. All right, like I said, we got some fry oil going at 350. Bring this over and get these babies golden brown. Cooking float pretty quick, so just gonna keep an eye on them. Keep them golden, don't let them over overcook, and it'll be great. Now let's go through with my tongs and give them a little flip. They take only minutes to really cook. That's why I keep it a uh, step up 350. It'll cook the insides and leave the outsides looking nice and tasty and golden. Probably only about a minute. And I'll be done. I'm finishing everything inside there is getting steamed up perfect. It's gonna be delicious. Put them on to a paper towel on a plate. Let the excess drain off. All right, this recipe we'll make a ton of these things so if you want to cut it in half for less people but if you keep this recipe the way it is you'll be able to feed your whole family so we're going to give these things a shot because they smell delicious oh yeah it's better than the chinese places that's awesome oh thanks for watching everybody you got to try these, so get out, get some pompano, get them chopped up, and then some cream cheese and make some of these bad boys right here. But thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, throw a like, go subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.